My room is what you would consider a smart room. From the lights in the room to these panels on the wall, everything around it is controlled through this awesome little speaker right here. That's a lamp. Everything is controlled through this awesome speaker right here, which is a Google Assistant. But chances are, a lot of you have smart speakers, and you may have noticed that your smart speakers are way better than Siri on your iPhone. So today, we're gonna fix that by replacing Siri with Google. Something Apple doesn't want you to do. But we're gonna do it anyway. You do, in fact, have to be jailbroken in order to be able to do what we are about to do, but it's pretty simple and straightforward to jailbreak your iPhone. There are tons of videos and tons of articles online to help you do that, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but it's pretty simple. If you need to jailbreak, go jailbreak and come right back. If you're on the fence about it, check this out and see what you think. Quick bonus tweak for you live wallpapers. If you were wanting those live wallpapers, that tweak is called frame, by the way. Moving on to the point of this video. The first thing you're going to need to do, of course, in order to do this, is have the Google Assistant app installed on your phone. So if you don't have the Google Assistant app installed on your phone, go ahead, hop over to the Google Assistant app and download it real quick. You won't be sorry, just do it. Now the next thing for all of you long time jailbreak people, you're gonna know that we need to jump into Cydia in order to get this up and running. If you're anything like me, you've been jailbreaking since like 2010, but a lot of you may be new. Now the tweak we're talking about today is a pretty old, pretty standard jailbreak tweak called Activator. However, you may have noticed that Activator is not working on iOS 13, so there's a fix for that. And and that is why this video is important. You can't just go type in activator and get it. You've got to add a source because it's currently in beta and I have that source for you. Thanks to somebody on Reddit. So it's this one right here. You can see the source. The source is in the description below if you want to just copy it if you're jailbroken. But that's the source. You're going to hop over here into the packages and activators hopping up right there on the top. So just go ahead and install that. You'll see that it is noted that it's a beta, but it's gonna be rolling out to the general public soon, but you can just go ahead and download it this way now if you wanna get a rush on getting uh, rid of Siri. All right, so once you've got Activator installed, just go ahead and tap on the icon and you'll be presented with this menu. Of course, we wanna make sure that we can access our assistant from anywhere, so we're gonna go ahead and tap the Anywhere option up at the top. Now, if you wanna make it as similar to the way that you launch the voice assistant on your phone to begin with, Siri, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down if you have an iPhone 10 to the Sleep button, or later, if you have an iPhone 10 or later, go ahead, scroll down to sleep button and choose long hold. And you can activate any number of things. All right, if I go ahead and type in the word assistant and I wanna just go down here to where it says user applications and hit activate application. And it's really that easy. You're gonna have it enabled just like that. But wait, there's one more step. You will notice right now, if you try to activate it, you're gonna run into this issue. Right now, if I jump into my phone and try to launch it, you'll see this issue. First, it pulls up Siri, and then it translates over to the Google app. We obviously don't want Siri launching every time it looks sloppy. We're trying to get rid of Siri, so we can fix that. And fortunately for us, we don't even have to install any tweaks. Apple already knows we want to turn Siri off, but we don't even have to turn Siri off for this. We can leave Siri enabled and have Google enabled at the same time. What you're gonna wanna do next is go into settings and go to the Siri section. Inside of it, you'll go ahead and enable listen for Hey Siri if you haven't done that already. So go ahead and tap on that. So once you've enabled the listen for the Siri catchphrase, go ahead and take the press side button for Siri 
and disable that option so that it's only listening for voice. When we hold down the side button for an extended period of time, we automatically get the Google app instead ready to go. We can tap the microphone and just start talking. It's that easy. And on top of having all of that ready to go, all that you've got to do now if you want to activate Siri is just be like, hey Siri. What's the weather like today? So now when you're using your iPhone, you have easy and ready to go access to both the Siri functionality and now probably better functionality through Google. And better yet, the Google Assistant can even make phone calls and do text messages for you. So you may not even ever want to switch back to uh, Siri. I don't know about people who use the Amazon service. If there's an app for that, it'll work the same way. You just go ahead. You can launch literally anything you want using Activator. So if you are trying to quickly launch your Snapchat or anything like that, you can program it to virtually launch anything. But basically, this allows you to replace Siri with arguably a better virtual assistant. So if you found this video useful in any way whatsoever, go ahead and hit a thumbs up button drop a comment down below and i thank you guys for checking this out hit subscribe if you want to stick around and check out some more jailbreak tweaks and features in the future i do appreciate it once again and i will catch you in the next one